What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video I just wanted to go through a slightly 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 ever so slightly new topic to the channel and that is the tutorials Now a person in my comment section suggested that I make a tutorial on how to texture a dragon or how I texture my dragons and that is what I intend to do in this video Let's get started Part 1 so I'd recommend getting yourself familiarized with the basics of Blockbench before attempting any sort of overly average creation. But in case you don't know the basics of Blockbench texturing, let me just quickly go through a few things. This is the color wheel thing. This is where you can pick your colors. You can slide this style right down to change the different hues. And yeah. Here we have the lock alpha channel. This helps us, as you can see, if I remove it, when I texturize, it goes over the wings. But if I click lock alpha channel, it allows me to color it inside of the wings. Here you can change the brush shape, you have the options of a square and a circle. Here is where you can change the size of the brush, you can make it bigger, or you can make it smaller. Here you have the opacity of the brush, you can make the brush appear darker. Or you can make the brush appear lighter. As you can see, you can barely see it. And this is the softness tool. You can make your brush really soft or really not soft, as you can see there. Okay, enough explaining. Let's get right into how I texture my dragons. So to start us off, I usually start with the darkest color on the dragon which in this case is the underbelly. So I use the color picker tool to right click my the color and it appears here. So now I've selected it. Then I go into my brush. I go into smooth brush. I change the size to one. I change the opacity to around 100 in between 50. And then I change the softness to, let's say, 50. Then I slightly start to go around the edges with the color I have chosen, as you can see. And I do this multiple times until a gradient can be seen, as you can see here. And I continue the same pattern throughout the underbelly. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you don't A, go like this and just keep on overdoing it so there's no gradient, or B, underdoing it and just creating like a gradient instead of actual texture. You want it to be in the middle of both extremes. Depending on the size of the cube I'm coloring in, I adjust my brush accordingly, and you should as well. This makes it way easier to paint bigger and or smaller sections. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. Let's move on to how I make or give my dragons the illusion of having scales. And I do this by choosing the main color, going into the color tab, and ever so slightly pushing it downwards. So choosing a darker tone from the color of my main body. Then, I change my brush to have, um, let's say 40% smoothness, smoothness and a lot less opacity. And I just continue to dot it, dot the brush around all over, as you can see. 
it gives the illusion of scales. Now let's do that to the head. As you can see, that there's beauty and inconsistency. Look how good that looks. Now for the final step, I'm going to show you how to do the top layer or your lightest color of your dragon. So I select it. And as I did to the, the underbelly, you're going to do something similar to the top. But this time, you don't blend it in as much. So you want your brush, you want its size to be one, but make the smoothness a lot lower. And just slightly, just lightly go over your dragon. Now you don't want to create a gradient like you did on the underbelly. You just want to go lightly. Like icing on a cake. As you can see, our dragon is starting to look like it has a lot more life in it. Now, I'm going to continue those three methods I just showed you around my dragon. And then, I'll do an outro. Okay, so... I'm going to time lapse me doing those three methods on my dragon. Let's get right into it. As you can see, our dragon now looks much, much better. If given more time, I could have even made it even more better. But for the sake of this video, I've tried to keep it short. Now, this can take a while to get the hang of. You know, the changing of the opacity and the softness. But once you do, it's pretty easy. That was all for today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below your ideas in the description. And I'll see you guys for some more. Bye-bye, and don't forget, dragons are cool.